Hard-working tradies doing a solid job and not being paid happens too often. But on this construction site, angry workers are taking a stand against greedy developers. Oi, don't touch the camera. Hey, 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 hey. No way, no way. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Please. Behind these worksite hoardings and ugly scenarios unfolding, one that's often heard, but rarely seen. This is an invasion of privacy. They stop paying us. Why? We don't know. We don't know. Look at everyone hiding in there. Look at them hiding. No answers, no nothing. Hard-working tradies, blindsided by a dispute between the builder who pays their wages and the project developer who is supposed to pay the builder. Mr Delaw, Steve Marsh from Current Affair. It sounds like you're in a bit of a pickle, sir. Not only have these workers been locked out, they're also out of pocket for the work they've already done. What does that mean for you? Well, it's um, self bread and butter. This is how we make a living. Why are so many tradies and subcontractors unhappy with you, Mr Miller? Tonight, we seek Why answers from so two developers whose tactics have made these tradies collateral damage. Can you guarantee? I don't have to guarantee anything to you. You're a you're well, a you're the developer. Presenter. It does hurt. You put in all the effort to get the job done in time, in a proper way, and just not being paid for it is just not right. It looks like they're trying to make a quick buck and take advantage on people. But you know what? We've seen builder after builder go down, subby after subby get screwed, and you know what? We want to put a stop to it. This new apartment block near Sydney's Bondi Beach looks peaceful enough now, but during construction, it was a basket case. The current affair was privy to a stoush between developer and builder, leaving these tradies out in the cold. Yes, look at it! Who built this? We built this. Have we been paid? No. It's the developer. Face the music, developer. Face the music. Come on, face the music. The cops arrived. So too the union reps. We got something to hide or something to hide. And tempers flared. Don't touch the camera. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Excuse me, there's no need for that. There's, a, there's no need for that. There's an officer here. Bunkered down inside the site office, Felicia Whiting, one of the project developers. Miss Whiting, why are there so many angry tradies outside? Uh, that's got nothing to do with us. Miss Whiting runs development company Bon Her Holdings with her partner, Rajesh Nalor. Are you heading to work or are you heading to court, Mr Nalor? The number of court cases involving Rajesh and Felicia's Bonheur Holdings is staggering. A common theme sees Bonheur citing defective work as the reason for not paying their subcontractors the full amount. We will tell her to outline the defective work, so there's nothing coming in a proper format, and she's just basically trying to avoid us and not pay us. Murat's family piling business, CF Group, put in these footings at the apartment complex. How long have you been waiting for payment? For eight months now. Eight months? Eight months, yep. What does this mean for you, you and your family? Well, well it's a family-run business, so if the business is not doing well, and the construction is going down slowly, so we're basically starving. Murat's company has since won a statement of claim against the developer. They were awarded $80,000, but then the developer sent a legal letter counter-suing CF Group for 90 grand. And is that it there? It's not really a letter though, is it? No, it's How not. It's a 200-page <laughs> legal statement, basically. So it cost us about thirty dollars to $40,000 to get a legal advice on this alone. Wow. And to deal with it in court. Do you take people to court instead of paying bills? Uh, no, we don't. Is that, is that the game plan? We have to protect our contractual position. Felicia and Raji sure are spending a lot of time in court arguing why they shouldn't have to pay various trades and suppliers. A current affair has spoken with nine tradies and subbies who say they've been forced to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars chasing millions owed to them, or indeed defending action brought against them by Rajesh and Felicia. And now a lawyer for the pair has told a current affair, if we've got any more questions for the development duo, then we should go through here. Why are so many tradies and subcontractors unhappy with you, Mr. Miller? Why are you, why are you spending so much time in court? I mean, many people are unhappy with you, Mr. Miller.
uh, it can become litigation by attrition if you're up against somebody with deep pockets. Chamberlain's Building and Construction Director of Litigation, Michael Terry Whittall, says prolonged legal action by developers is a classic move to grind down subcontractors. If you are out of pocket $80,000 or $90,000 and your only option is to spend twenty dollars or $30,000 on an expert and then tens of thousands more in legal fees over the course of 12 to 18 months, you tend to find some of the smaller guys simply can't and so they walk away rather than pursue what they're entitled to. The experienced lawyer says this tactic is one of the main reasons why construction companies make up 25% of all insolvencies. Try to take every cent out of the job and basically get the job done for free, where all the money goes into their back pocket. Excuse can, can, me, can you, um, you're not shooting please, me. Please, look, you have no right, about. okay? You have no right. Then there's private investors like Yan Zhao. Look, you're involved in the excuse development. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This was the moment Yan realised her considerable investment in Rajesh and Felicia's company was a huge mistake. Okay, I'm going to call the police, okay? Yan is now taking Bonheur to court in a multi-million dollar claim. So we approached Rajesh Nalore about Yan's beef. Why would your business partner be taking you to court, Rajesh? Rajesh? While Rajesh would rather face his own front door than our camera, during construction, this union official said work couldn't continue because of safety concerns and without a registered builder on site. How would you describe this whole situation? Oh, it's, uh, look, in, in terms of safety, it's probably one of the worst sites I've seen in 22 years. When the apartment block was finally built, the much-trumpeted modulus complex wasn't quite what was portrayed in the original glossy sales brochures. The private certifier confirmed downgrades were made, where one bidders were priced at a whopping $950,000. Perhaps this is the result of Rajesh and Felicia sacking two builders while a third builder told a current affair he walked out after just a few weeks. Does your company have a track record of not paying builders? No, that is not correct. That is not correct? Rajesh, are you Rajesh Nalora, Rajesh the ripoff? I will tell everyone and every subcontractor to stay away from these guys. Because whatever happened to us will happen to them. Now we do have some positive news. One of the builders paid the tradies out of his own pocket. He has also taken legal action against the developers.